that what they were looking at was not an A-10. The very next day, that same pilot was quoted as saying he's 99.99% sure it was an A-10. Well, which is it? Which is it? Are we trying to say that our search and rescue teams don't know the difference between an A-10 and something else? And why did it take 20 days to find them? If they had the radar track and they knew approximately where the mountain was, why did it take so long to find them? And when they did find them, they say that, uh, that they were going to do a DNA test and they would have that DNA test in two or three days. How do you grow a DNA in two days and compare it to other DNA? It can't be done. I don't even think we can do it today. They certainly couldn't do it in 1997. So why were they so sure that that was kept in Craig Button's body? None of this makes any sense. None of it. If the plane was tracked going in a straight line, uh, although the government says it was being manually flown, then, then, then wouldn't it indicate if it was flying in a beeline for New York Mountain that, that, that it was on autopilot, okay? And what you do when you get in one of these planes is you set a dial, a direction finder, and you push in the coordinate for where you want to go, and you hit a button, and that plane will take you there. Straight, right on. One interesting thing to note, I want to go back to this map here, uh, which gets to the whole idea of whether or not he was actually um, flying the plane, is a course correction which occurred right here. Okay. Now, one thing about remote controlled aircraft is if you, it is being remote controlled, you've got a guy sitting in a booth like this with the screen, and he has a very limited field of view. Now, if we assume that Craig Button was not in that plane for whatever reason, and this craft was being remotely controlled, or maybe he was in the plane but he had no control over it, we don't know and someone was trying to fly this plane into uh, New York Mountain in order to make it look like he committed suicide because the, the, the peak over here, this is New York Mountain, that's Craig's Peak is what I've been told. They call it Eagle Mountain. I'm not sure. Again, the stories don't jive. Okay, the published stories don't jive. Uh, it looks like there was a course correction made. Okay, he starts getting towards New York Mountain. Oh, crud. I'm, I'm overflying. I got to turn around and go back and make it so that I crash on Craig's Peak. So it looks like he emulated himself on Craig's Peak next to New York Mountain. Well, you know what? If he was flying manually, he would have just went to Craig's Peak and crashed into it. He would have already had that punched in there. Just something to think about. Um, again, here is, uh, here is the government which is putting all of this stuff out, okay? Uh, uh, the government says that they think that uh, he did this because his parents were Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, his parents were Jehovah's Witnesses for a long time before he ever decided to become a pilot. He just had met his parents and spent a couple of days with his parents just a few days before this alleged suicide occurred. And uh, he wrote a letter, which actually... Uh, went to some of his friends, which arrived on the day that he committed suicide. And as you can probably read behind me, it says here that, uh, um, um, that he was in good spirits. He was waiting to do his first live bomb run, which is what he was doing on April 2nd. That was his, as part of his training. That was going to be his first live bomb drop. He had four MK500 bombs that were attached to his A-10, which have never been recovered. What happened to the four or 500 pound bombs that were on his A-10? Nobody knows. They never recovered them. That's a lot of TNT, okay? That's 2,000 pounds. That's one ton of high explosives that if an organization wanted it, they could take those dumb bombs apart. They're just, they're, there's nothing in them. There's no guidance system. And you've got 2,000 pounds of TNT. Now, what can you do with 2,000 pounds of TNT? You can do a lot of damage. Uh, certainly in the initial reports, some of the reporters that were actually covering this case actually said and put, put the idea out there that possibly this plane had landed somewhere, and, and, and Captain Treek Johnston talked about this yesterday, uh, uh, to possibly get those bombs off of there and then send the plane back up. There was 20 days they had, supposedly, 
they could have had, if this, if this is not a suicide, I don't think that it was, 